So a warm welcome to this interview section that I have with Crowd1 leaders from across the world, really showing the diversity and cultural aspects also of driving a business and being an entrepreneur and how that also impacts and changes lives. And I have four leaders, also truly diverse in where you geographically come from. I'll start with you, Jeanette Torres. You're from the Philippines, but you're now based in Dubai. Yes. Um, and next to you is Ali Nabil. Yes from Egypt, but you're also based in Dubai. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then Bibian, you're from Kenya. Yeah. And you're based there now as well? Yeah. Yeah. Great, coming all the way from there. Yeah. And then Angsman Saha, you're from India. Yes. And you're here again in Dubai joining us. Yes. Thank you so much for taking the time. I wanted to sort of start with each and one of you to portray, you know, how your journey when it comes to network marketing and Crowd1 began. So, Jeanette, I know that um, you have been an actress former to this, been in different professions. What sort of brought you into network marketing and above all Crowd1? Okay. Um, as an actress, you want the millions. Ah. <laughs> but you, you want your privacy. Mm. And so when somebody introduced this business to me, I know there's millions in the network marketing business, whether it be distribution mm. or the recruitment. Plus, um, you do it privately. You don't have to be on screen to be doing it. Mm. And then right now, we do Zoom meetings. So I get to be an actress, mm -hmm. but it's not too much. Mm. So this is why it's comfortable. Mm. And, and how did you come across Crowd1 specifically? Okay. Um, I was with another company, and people know that I, I do networking. And I, I received some awards before, and then so people remember me, and they know I wasn't doing anything, because prior to Crowd, no company or product worked. Mm. It's like I lost the magic. I said, did I lose the magic, or was it really the wrong companies? And then Crowd1 as, Crowd as a concept was introduced to me, and was online and international, and it was pioneering. Mm. So I said, yes. Mm. And I never looked back. Mm. I never stopped mm. uh, until this day, up to this day. And, and when did you join Crowd1? I was with Crowd1 from the beginning, on the fifth and sixth month. Wow, aren't you a pioneer? And when you say that it's pioneering, just to sort of explain that to, to the people watching, what do you find is so pioneering with Crowd1? Uh, what is so pioneering with Crowd1 is that um, now everything is online. Mm. And we were one of the first ones, mm. first ones to go um, crossover. And also we were one of the first ones, I think others are following suit, to not sell physical products, mm. but to sell online, to, to pass on the message, whatever is the newest product online. So this is so pioneering, mm. and yet it's not, because this is where the future is going. Mm, definitely. Thank you. And Ali, speaking of acting, I know that you sing. Yeah. And um, even though you're not going to sing here today, but you've been singing all your way to Crowd1. Tell us how you came across Crowd1. Wow. First, I want to introduce myself. I, I am, my name is Ali Nabil. I am from Egypt. Mm -hmm. I have uh, one year ago in Dubai and uh, I joined Crowd1 before one year ago. Mm. I am now uh, a coordinator, three stars, and um, I joined uh, Crowd1 by, frankly, mm. uh, just uh, I go to Zoom link, mm. I listen to the event, and uh, I see a lot of people around the global. They are really interesting and uh, they are really exciting mm. about uh, this company. And I did not lose anything. I just used my phone, my smartphone. So I decided I want to go ahead in this company. Mm. So now uh, I want to say also something about uh, Crowd1. A lot of people, a lot of people, they are uh, using the Crowd1 income to reach their dreams. Mm. So now uh, I want also have two goals. I first I want to be ambassador level. Be on the ambassador soon. level. Mm -hmm. And the second I want to have my production company. Mm, your own production company. Yes. 
Well, I'm sure that will happen, not I least. Mean, thank you. Thank you. And then I go on to beautiful, lovely Bibian from Kenya. I mean, you've been part of Crowd1, is it since 2019? Yeah. And I know that you've done a lot since then, and you both, I mean, empower yourself, you take care of others, you're, you know, doing your business and navigating others to do so. So tell us a bit about your journey. How did you come across Crowd1, and how has it changed your life? Oh, um, let me introduce myself first. I'm Bibian Lichoro. Uh, from Nairobi, Kenya, a senior president. Mm, my story is a little bit, when I start in giving it, I also mm. become em emotional. My life was kind of tough mm. before I came across with Crowd1. Um, Cloud One came while I was so down and uh, while I was so frustrated from uh, another company I had worked for seven good years, uh, which they decided to pull me out and take over everything that and qualified in that company. Mm. Uh, they took away more than close to 8.8 .8 million, which was 80. $88,000 uh, together with the qualification of the cars I've qualified for myself and my son. And during that moment, it's like it was a bad luck month, and it's the same, same month I was, my house was demolished when the rail was, the round of the rail was passing by my house, and uh, I started my life zero again, mm. from up and going, back to zero. It was too bad. It was a very bad experience whereby as somebody who was managing to accommodate herself, I started borrowing the accommodation from friends. And later on, um, friends became tired of my mm. needs. And then the most day I can never forget in my life, which I think in future I will write a book for that, is the day I was kicked out of the house of my friend. I took care of them while I was well up. I did everything I could do for their life, but when they was tired with me, they kicked me out of their house with my special kid in my hands while my kid was dying in my own hands. Is the day I knelt down and started having dialogue with my God. God, are you really there? Do you really know me? Do you really see me? Do you really hear my prayer? Can you really hear me wherever you are? Because this life is becoming unbearable. Mm. And imagine after all the torture, I just, after three days through the torture, I just came across a total stranger who was Mr. O'Neill, started chatting me, calling me funny names. I did not know that that is their language. They call people honey, darling. I was like, who is this calling me honey? Mm. And then I said, oh, please excuse me. What do you want? Please, I have a very nice opportunity for you. When I saw your profile picture, in the certain group, I could see a very motivated Linda that can run away with them. this nice, nice opportunity in the old Africa. Then I was, wow. Again, I was so tired with MLM. Which MLM is this again? It is about product, no. It's about what? Online business, but you will do it as your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Then I flashed back after working with a certain company for seven good years. I was like a hawk. I said, wow, it's the time I'm going to do my business at my comfort zone. No, okay. But still, I was not having enough energy to mm. get the opportunity because I was so frustrated in MLM and I was ready to quit until I went back to agriculture farming. Mm. And then the crowd one came along and gave me The crowd one came along and then mm. it met me while I was totally like, I don't know, I, I can say it's like I was almost finished, remaining mm. with 1% mm. to cut off my breath. And then um, 
I started now thinking of, I told, I asked the guy, now I'm so down, can you manage to pay for me? This company, then I work, and then he connected me with another guy from South Africa, Mr. Smile, and then he say, they said, we are sorry, because people are used to be paying the package for, for us in Crowd1, even if the package is going to cost one dollar, we are sorry. We're gonna not pay for any Linda. No pain, no gain. They gave me a very hot challenge, mm. and I walk out. I went to my mo mobile phone. I borrowed the um, KCB M-Pesa money, and I did not know that I was qualified for that. That was by grace of God, and they gave me um, what the amount of three hundred and. Mm. $15, and then like, wow, you mean I can qualify to get loan? Okay, but I did not know God to arrange that just for me to manage to maneuver in this opportunity. And that is how I managed to get the amount of joining Crowd1 because the person who was introducing it to me was not ready to pay even a coin for me. He wanted me to feel pinch, but in fact, that only want he said that even if ground one registration is one dollar, we cannot pay it because in this industry, no pain, no gain. Because so, that, so yeah, many leaders, when you get mm, to pay to them, they mm, don't work. Yeah. I was challenged, and I think that was made me take yeah. move forward and take the decision to mm. car mm. on with the ground mm. one with the immediate effect. Mm. Yes. But that's, you know, it's interesting. Sometimes you need to be really down broken to be able to mm -hmm. reinvent yourself. An opportunity comes along and you're hungry for it and someone sure. gives you a challenge, but sure. you have to actually solve the challenge yourself. Sure, sure. It makes a true leader. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that Thank story. You. And uh, Ang's Human, Saha, India, um, yes. President Three Star. So tell us about your story. Tell us how, you know, Crowd1 came into your life. And I also know that you're a very engaged leader. You, you have uh, Zoom calls every day. You do live events every week and so forth. So tell us about your journey. Yeah, of course. It was, uh, you know, I am in this industry past 20 years. I am with a couple of companies from uh, U.S. and all, and all are from a product-based companies. So I'm just afraid, I say, stop product because we become a salesman. Mm -hmm. We build a lot of teams, we build a lot of big organizations, then something happened. You know, maybe a management, maybe a lead, you know, have a problem with the leaders. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, just forget about salesmanship. So I have a couple of my uh, key people. I said, let's fly Bangkok and let's think what to do. Then uh, we uh, fly to Bangkok. We just think what to do. I said, what is the trend of our business nowadays? Like we capture Facebook background, we capture Amazon background. So suddenly I got an opportunity uh, from one of my very good friend and you know, I said, it sounds interesting, it sounds like community, it sounds like you know, a lot of people. So the vision and the science behind the concept actually uh, allow me to listen. Mm. So I said, I listen. And I took a decision. I believe uh, that this will work. But that time, nothing was there. Mm. You know, we don't have so many products. We don't have so many success stories. There a lot of my uh, friends say, this will be a scam. I will have no problem. This will be a scam. So it will be better to be with a bigger scam. Because if this will be a scam, then Facebook is a scam. Then Amazon is a scam. So I believe that. And uh, I came back. And I started, now uh, I have a very uh, good team, and uh, we are doing a lot of countries together. And I believe one thing in Crowd1, which um, gives me a lot of energy every morning, mm -hmm. because I believe we are nothing till now. This is uh, We are in just in a beginning, mm -hmm. and uh, there are a lot of things are going to happen. Mm. And that gives me a lot of energy. Mm. And that's why we do almost uh, 30, 40 Zoom calls every day. And mm. all Zoom calls are packed with 600, 700 people. We do every week three, four live meetings. And everywhere is a 500, 600 people. Mm. Now we have a target. Like we need to come back here again 
in our next event with a 20 president. That was my target. So it gives us a lot of energy. And this is something, uh, op Cloud One is kind of an opportunity, really transform people's life. Mm -hmm. You know, help us to help others. And this is a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. And this is like a blessing from a God. Mm. And I think that's so interesting because it also surfaces on, on many of the interviews um, that I do with, with leaders um, within network marketing and from this company is, is this sense of also a sense of contribution. It's a sense of really communal um, community, but also, of course, a business that demands work. So speaking of demanding work, just to give the viewers sort of a sense of how your everyday business life is. For example, with, with you, Angus Human, where you talk about, you know, you have 50, 40, 50 Zoom calls, it's live events and so forth, to sort of paint the picture that it's, you know, it's not sitting maybe receiving income, it's actually doing something for it. So, so Jeanette, tell us a bit, how, how, how does your business day look? Okay. Um, when you reach uh, one of the highest ranks or when you rank up, there's also responsibility. So as um, senior president three star, I had more responsibility than before because I have people under me that are also leaders. And so you have to continue on with them. You have to continue to pass on the message from the company. You have to continue motivating up to the newest member. And the most important person in your organization is the newest member mm. because that's how they can say crowd one is the best mm. because for the newest one, it's working. And so you communicate positivity even if there are days you are not specially doing the lockdown, and you have to motivate them to rank up also. So you have to be online. You have to show that you care, mm. because people will not believe you, mm. nor do anything until they know you care. Mm. Because if you don't show that, you will just be another tyrant leader. But you see, you, you commune with them, like what you said, and you know their story, and you know, you know where to motivate them, mm. what kinds of uh, sentences to say that best fits their situation. And speaking of that, because it is a lot of personal development and personal growth, so, because you say also, you know, once you become a leader and then you become president, the more you elevate, mm -hmm. the more responsibility you have. But how do you sort of grow? How do you get your motivation? Where do you look to, you know, to grow yourself? We always have a leader on top of us. Mm. And for me, that is crowd one and the ambassadors mm. and also I look at the other people that are awardees as my leaders also because I get some tricks. I get some success stories. I get to hear words from them. You know, every leader mm. has a coat because it worked for them. Mm. And so I find these people as my mentors. Without them knowing it, I tell to myself, this guy is my mentor. I, I'm tr trying to recall whatever he said mm. and I pass it on to my team. It's also interesting because it really also shows a business that it based a lot on storytelling. A lot of industries talk about storytelling, but this is really based on storytelling because you're creating a story, but so you're also getting inspired by it and doing business at the same time. And, and, and what about you? How, how do you motivate your team and, and how does your work day look? Anil? Actually, uh, I motivate my team. Um, always I'm meeting a Zoom meeting. Mm. Uh, like three days per week. Three days per week. So yeah. now I have a lot of members around the global, around the world. <coughs> so I'm really proud also because I am the first Egyptian mm. Arabic person in Dubai joined Crowd One. So it's amazing yeah. to really earn a lot of money mm. from Crowd One. And um, when I decided to travel to Dubai, and I have only one goal, I want to shoot in my video clip. I have uh, my album, I want just shoot in my video clip, and I want to come back to my country, Egypt. Mm. But uh, really, when I joined to Crowd1, my life is changed. Mm. Change it for everything. My, I think a lot of things I want to do it, now it's you can do it mm. it's nothing it's hard and really impossible is nothing so i encourage the people really come to crowd one just try you are not lost anything just you will use your smartphone and we will be welcome for you and thank you for
I want to thank mother, I want to thank family, mm. I want to thank uh, Ms. Janet Torres for giving me this opportunity, mm. and thank you all. And, and also what it showcases, what you're all saying is the diversity, that you can also build a business and it's outside of your own country. You're actually really being able to scale. Is, is there a challenge in that scalability? I mean, culture, language, how do you overcome that when you're building teams? Anyone who yeah, nothing actually, you know, there is a no challenge. When we are, we know what we are doing, mm. if we are confident what we are doing, if we have that confidence, then nothing. Right. We need to share with the people. Maybe we don't know language. I have a very big team in Vietnam. I can't speak Vietnamese, yeah. but I can coordinate with them. Now there's, uh, technology is with us, yeah. so it's very easy for us to connect. And people see, uh, you know, the confidence, the honesty on you. If we are honest, we can do it anywhere. Mm. I don't feel uh, is is a big differences for anybody. Just we need to do it. Mm. That's it. Confidence and honesty. And and also looking at your background, I mean, you struggled when, when you were going to start this business. You didn't have the income to do it. What would you say to someone who might not specifically be your situation, but who maybe is struggling, but also wants to have an opportunity with Crowd1? What should they do? What should they think? How should they go about it? Okay, uh, me, I can tell them that uh, anything you want, you are who you are because of what you think. Mm. If you believe that you can, you can. Even if you don't, you don't have money, you have even accessories like and bag me, I can sell even something to get what I want. Mm. Because that is the time that opportunity has come and it is the time to grab it. Because when you don't grab it, it will just bypass you and somebody else will pick it there. So it is the high time for people because I know people are are really uh, passing a lot of challenges. You get some people, they are interested to do ground one, but they don't have the capital to start it. And as I get it still from my mentor that no pain, no gain, it is true. No pain, no gain, you have to feel a pinch for you to harvest from the seed that you are going to plant somewhere. Mm. So what I can tell the starters that are going to start and they are going to see it difficult for them to start with ground one, I believe even if they don't have capital, they have something that they can count on. Even the better, even you give someone something, hold this. Let me get the capital to start this business. Within one week or two weeks, I will get it back, your money back. And as I take my goods that I've given it to you, you know, there's what we call commitment. When you commit yourself with something, then you are going to work towards your goal until you get what you pick from somebody and you return it back mm -hmm. because it is passion in you. You want to success. You must get angry for success. You must get angry for success. And you have to be tired of poverty because when you don't get tired of poverty, then you just remain in that cycle of roundabout turning back, back, want, for want, you are going nowhere because you are expecting people to put something on the table. Make sure you feel a pinch for you to go where you want to be. Be hungry, have commitment, and yes. persevere. Um, so sort of as concluding, what, I mean, that was a really good piece of advice. Jeanette, if I speak to you, what, what advice would you give to people, both in the industry, wanting to come in the industry, and maybe also those who are a bit skeptical or not really understanding the concept of the industry? Okay, um, I want to drive this straight uh, home to the people, especially during the pandemic. Uh, you don't see what is external. You have to come from your inside. What is the strength left for you? Who are you looking up to? Mm. Be it your creator or a mentor. You have to draw it from within. And during the tough times is where someone can shine. Because anyone can shine in good situations. Mm. However, during the bad times, mm. can you still shine? So the best of the leaders come out like a phoenix rising from the darkest of moment. So I want to encourage people that most of us are having a hard time right now, even businessmen. But let me just say in crowd one, we actually are not having a hard time mm. because we believe the company, we did something about it, and we're reaping the harvest. Mm. 
And so also in your bad time right now, think of something. Think of anything positive. Don't let go of that opportunity, especially if someone comes to you about Crowd1. Mm. I think that's a really... Does anyone want to add anything to that? Yeah. 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 I would love something to, short and brief. I would love to add something uh, to the viewers that um, in this world, you have a chance to climb on someone sooner for you to reach where you want to go. Mm. Uh, each and every person have a mentor. In the world you have, on God has sent a mentor to you. The person that you need to climb on their shoulders for you to manage to climb and get the fruit that you are seeing that it is far and you cannot reach it. What I'm trying to say is that no one is unlimited. Everybody has all the power to pursue to our goals, to pursue to what we need and what we want in life. All of us, we have all the power. It's a matter of trusting in yourself and believing in yourself and telling yourself, talk to your inner you and say, yes, I have another Vivian inside me. Vivian, what do you think? Do you think we can do this? You call yourself a small meeting, you and your inner Vivian. Vivian, can we do it? Yes, we can do it. Let us go for it. Let us go. Now the inner Vivian will start speaking. The outside visible Vivian will say, mm, I must go for it. Mm. Let me go for it. Mm. Yes. Speaking to that inner child. Yes. Well put. Yeah. Thanks. Human didn't want to say anything before we end? Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, simple. We've, we have a uh, bad time, good time, but uh, we need to think positive way, you know, because uh, we born once. We don't know, uh, you know, next. So it's up to us how we want to spend our time. Mm. So if we want to be in a positive way, there are so many things. So this will be a great opportunity for each and everyone just need to think in a different way a little bit. So this much is very easy. Just we need to have a phone and people have a phone. People did it. Now they need to do it once again. Mm. So it's very simple. And also the fact that there's always a mentor. Yes. which is always great. Thank you so much for everything that you do, for being sources of inspiration, but also for really being, you know, change makers yourself and for sharing your knowledge and wisdom. And like my panelists or these leaders said, you know, allow yourself to rise like a phoenix. Don't forget patience. Don't forget passion. And don't forget your purpose. And join us next time. Thank you.